Two countries, two cultures, different opinions. We asked people on the streets of Tel Aviv and Munich how elderly people are treated in society. It's a difficult question. Uh... How society treats elderly people in Israel? I think that that's a very vast question because society is very complex. They're very bad. They are outcasted because everybody is afraid of old age. where they live. Some people respect, some people don't respect. Um, I feel like there's a lot of actually good efforts being made for the elderly, like to help them and assist them and different kind of uh, organizations that go out and do that for them. Loma speak to. All my building is uh, young people. Nobody one time said, let me help you to carry the bags. A lot of time I find myself like uh, helping with groceries, with elderly people and everything. Do you know that the young people who are in the building, who are trying to help, 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 who are trying to help? They are afraid of you because they are not in the autobus. He sees uh, an elder person in the bus, uh, he gives him a place to sit. Uh, there is always rumors and news about older people get uh, left out, and uh, it's sad. Uh, very well. Nothing to complain about, really. But it seems that the Germans treat people well. I don't. I think people really don't care about older people. They mind their own business. I think. I think that. Europeans or Germans are pretty good with helping elderly people, but I honestly need to say that sometimes the German elderly can be very hard. <laughs> Jüngere eher ein bisschen äh, respektloser, glaube ich. Also die sind jetzt nicht so geduldig mit Älteren, denke ich. Ich finde, dass hier sehr gute Pflege über alte Leute sehr gut. Es gibt immer äh, Raudis und auch wieder anständige Junge. I think there's a lot to change, definitely, but it's not horrible, I'd say. Is it too cold? Some more put in the secular. But what about the old people and their own families? We asked them how their relationship is. I am very happy to see you all, Mama. She is now 77. She has been doing all her life. So I am going to the house. I am going to the house. I am going to the house. No, there is a connection to the house. יש משפט אחד שאומרים, כבד את אביך ואת אמך, למען יאריכון ימיך. יש לי סבא וסבתא שאני ממש כאילו מטפל בהם. I only have a, a grandma and two grandpas. Well, you know, I was just going to say personally how much I love my grandparents and grandmother. אני גר איתם בבית, אני כזה עוזר להם, הם סיעודיים. It's pretty good, our relationship, and like, my best memory with them, I think it's, it was when we went for a trip. The relationship is great. I want to go more visit, I should. And when I do, it makes me very happy, but... Yeah, it's a good relationship. Uh, only my mother is still alive. She's 500 kilometers away, but we are uh, having a lot of phone calls and uh, with a tablet, it's very good. I understand me in the most days very well. So when I go to the festival, my grandma says, yeah, go away. Yeah, we have a very good relation with them. Uh, we visit them weekly. So I think also uh, uh, visiting the parents and the grandparents uh, should be something done on a regular basis. And they always eat. Da gibt es immer sehr, sehr viel Essen, wenn ich bei meiner Oma bin. Das ist die Mutter oder die, ein Elternteil. Man kann nicht sagen, ich schätze nur das oder das andere. Man schätzt alles. We contact very, not very frequently. And it's kind of sad, actually. I love them. Of course, my grandma is the most important person for me, honestly. <laughs> um, but it's even hard for me sometimes to always call her and be with her and take time for her because she just wants to talk for two hours. <laughs> it's great. I see them like once a week. Enkelkinder machen junge Flügel in das Leben und man hofft, dass sie eine bessere Zukunft haben als wir.
why do we have the video? Uh, it's for training. We're from yeah. the journalism uh, course in university. We edit. Um, I... Well, I hate journalists. <laughs>